Hey, all my all-knowing email reading. Yes, you guys, sysadmins. I guess I should say email reading. You can read everyone's email. Why would you though? Anywho, I'm electionpdq.com. I'm gonna show you how you can automate third-party patch management. You know, it's a basic set it and forget it. I mean, although I wouldn't necessarily forget it, check on it periodically, but you know, let PDQ deploy an inventory do the work for you. So we're gonna do just a real simple, um, I'm gonna go look in inventory and you'll notice right here, I've got 20 machines that have got Chrome on them. Of those 20 machines, and these this collection library is maintained by PDQ. So you don't have to worry about it. I mean, if you double click on this, like latest, you'll notice we maintain it by use of variables. There's the variables right there, Chrome, there's the version. So when a new version of Chrome comes out, we update the collections for you. But you'll notice I've got 20 machines with Chrome and all 20 of these machines do not have version 83 blah blah dot 97, okay, which is a, a, as of this video is the most current version of Chrome. So let's automate that so I don't have to deal with Chrome getting updated. First thing you wanna do, obviously go to the package library, let's go get Chrome. So went to the package library, hit the filter for Chrome, I'm gonna download Chrome Enterprise. Again, pre-built package, we build these for you, again, to make your life easy. Okay, I'll clear that filter, and Chrome has been downloaded into our packages, you'll see it right there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight Chrome, and I'm going to not just deploy it, I'm gonna build a new schedule. Now the important thing about this schedule, right, obviously you should name it, that's important, because otherwise you're gonna to have to read what's going on, is I want this to run when you want it to run. I want it to run on a weekly basis, right? So let's just have this guy go out on Fridays. I like to send it after hours. 1 p.m. is not after hours. Let's go for 8 p.m., okay? Here's where inventory and deploy work so good together is finding the machines that need it. When you choose your targets, you could go out and onesie, cho twosie, choose the machines. If I go out, I can add, let's see, I believe Allen Rails has Chrome old, an old version of Chrome on it. You'll notice how that is, it has a computer name. If I do that, that's building a static list of machines that I have to maintain. Let's not do that. Let's do it smarter and let PDQ inventory do the work. Let's choose the collection. We go to the collection library. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab that Chrome collection. Sorry, I put that back. We'll go grab that Chrome collection, Chrome old. It is under Applications, Internet Browsers, Chrome Old. And you notice the difference between the two of these now, right? So I don't need to put Allen Rails in there. I'm just gonna update the machines that have an old version of Chrome. If they got the recent version, I don't need to mess with them. If they don't have it, there's probably a reason. So there's Chrome Old, great. There's the package we selected as Chrome. Options to stop deploying to targets once they succeed, I'm gonna give it an okay. At this point, this is what's gonna happen. At eight o'clock on Friday, it's gonna go out to inventory and say, hey, who's in Chrome old and needs Chrome? All these machines right here. It will then deploy Chrome to those machines. They're obviously gonna get updated and they will move from Chrome old to Chrome latest. Okay, Angel sing, ah. And now when you show up to work on Monday, all these guys are updated. You can sit back with your feet up and drink coffee. I mean, okay, that's what I do. But let's say, um, the guys at Google put out a new version of Chrome that up, they put out version 98 or 99. What'll happen is, let's say that happens Monday after the update. So midday, they get updated. A new update comes out. All those machines will go from Chrome latest to Chrome old. The variable right here will change. Okay, so you know there's a new version out there. And the other nice thing is these packages right here, the package with the arrow, it's an auto download package. Okay. By default, if you auto download, unless you change it, it's going to wait seven days and then auto download. The approval will be, uh, it'll automatically approve the replacement of the old Chrome with the new Chrome. So what happens at that point is the following Monday, the new Chrome will get updated and the Friday following that at eight o'clock, it will update all those Chrome machines. And so that cycle will take care of itself as long as your license is updated and you've got your uh, deploying inventory running. So Again, set it, forget it, easy, right? Take work off your plate. You can do that with any of the packages in our package library. And if you watch some of our other videos, we've got videos on how you can automate some of your packages that aren't in our package library. That's set it and forget it. I mean, set it and, you know, don't really forget it, but at least you don't have to work with it. Just gotta check to make sure the work's done.
Hey, I'm Lex from PDQ.com. Thanks for watching.